Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Matthew Perry says he will remove insults to Keanu Reeves in future editions of his book. Matthew Perry not only regrets insulting Keanu Reeves in his new book he s pulling Reeves' name from future issues of Friends, Lovers, and the big terrible thing Perry's memoir about his long battle with substance abuse and addiction, Perry shared news with the makeover at the Los Angeles Times Festival of Books, speaking to a sold-out crowd at USCS Bovard Auditorium on Saturday afternoon, during a panel moderated by Matt Brennan. The Times associate editor of the Times Stupid said, It was a mean thing Perry said, referring to his lament in the book, that former co-stars River Phoenix and Chris Farley had died while Reeves walked among us. I drew his name because I live on the same street Perry said, I have publicly apologized to him. Any future versions of the book will not feature his name. He said he did not personally apologize to Reeves, but added, When I meet the guys, I ll apologize. It was just stupid. During a candid conversation with Brennan, Perry shared stories that made the audience laugh but he didn't tee shy away from recounting a harrowing experience with drugs that came very close to killing him. He also offered a re-evaluation of the show that made him famous. While Perry is proud that a new generation of fans have come to appreciate Friends nearly 20 years after the series ended, he accepts criticism that there has been a lack of diversity. It was a different time, he said. Nobody talked about diversity. At the same time, he added, we were all stupid. Now he said, diversity is a big issue, it s the right thing to do. And he shared the story of how he came to write a memoir that s unusually adamant for a celebrity. The most painful part, he revealed, was reading what he had written. What a horrible life this guy had, he recalled. He thought, this life began as a result of an unhappy marriage. His parents separated when he was a year old, and he said one of his earliest memories was of flying.